traveling across the world can come with so many uh, anxieties and fears and uh, just worries. And I think for me, I wasn't really concerned necessarily about what it would be like to travel on my own or uh, to be in a part of the world where like home is so far away. Um, my main concern, quite honestly, was was FOMO. I was afraid of missing out of, on what was happening here at campus. I was afraid of missing out on my friends' lives and what was happening. Everyone started telling me, hey, you really should think about this. You're gonna miss out on pledging. You're gonna miss out on fall semester of sophomore year. Are you sure you wanna do that? guess what, like your friends are still here and you're gonna come back and you're gonna be able to pick back up with those friends and you're gonna be able to re-enter with a new conversation. It feels like you've been away for a few weeks, but you have four months of stories to tell. Our first full day in Leipzig, we'd gotten the first part of our Leipzig city tour and Lindsay, the house manager, was like, okay, so you can either come back with me or you can go home on your own. Well, my friend and I, so we got on the tram, it gets to our stop, but the door doesn't open. So we keep standing by the door for like three stops. We're getting farther and farther from the villa at this point. We didn't realize that there's a button you have to push to get the doors to open when you get to the stop. This older German man who didn't speak any English comes up and taps me on the shoulder and he points at the little button and we just felt like such idiots. I was just kind of like wandering through downtown one evening, just drinking coffee. Somebody approached me, a cute um, old couple, and they started speaking to me in German and asking me for directions to a church. When you go to Germany, especially at the beginning, you stand out as, uh, as a tourist. And so for them to approach me and think that I was a part of the city was really neat. And literally just a few days before, I had been learning in our German class how to give directions and so I was able to give them directions to the church. It was just a really neat moment of me being able to just be a part of the Leipzig and German culture and just feeling like I truly had lived there and wasn't just a tourist. I had so many incredible experiences in Germany while I studied abroad that it would be honestly impossible to pick a favorite but I think one memory that stands out as remarkable was a road trip that I did with some friends across Germany and uh, we stopped on the way at Neuschwanstein Castle, which is just this incredibly beautiful castle. It's the castle that Disney's castle at the very beginning with the little star that flies over it was based on. And it is just like in the middle of this mountain range surrounded by just beautiful valleys and villages. We got there at 7 a.m. before any of the crowds uh, climbed up to this bridge and just watched the sunrise come over this castle. And it was a truly magical experience. I didn't know any German, but I really wasn't concerned about it because I knew that we were going to take German while we were there from a person who lives in Germany, grew up in Germany. Before I went to Germany, I did not even know how to count to 10 in German, but genuinely by the end I was able to order food in German, I could get to the airport, um, speaking with German people there. I actually even on an airplane had a simple conversation with a German guy who's sitting next to me on the plane. Germany is full of a depth of history and experience that you're not going to find anywhere else. It's not the things that go according to plan that give you good memories. It's all the things that are unexpected. FOMO almost took my study abroad experience away. And once I got to Leipzig, I didn't want to leave. I'm so excited for y'all to get to study abroad. ACU is great about integrating you back. It's just one semester, but whenever you come back, ACU will still be home, just like it always has been.